Over the past two weeks, we have been showing you ways to be active with yoga moves for your overall health. And we've seen firsthand how yoga is good for your body and your mind. But did you know that yoga is also good for nerve health? Well, dietitian Shelley Meltzer joins us in studio to talk about this and how yoga can calm your nervous system. And of course, we're going to be showing you some yoga moves with Fran as well, who's back again this week that can support our nerve health. Shelley, it's so good to have you once again. You always leave me feeling so empowered with information. Well, thank you very much. Shelley, you know, all of us, we're constantly in a continual state of fight or flight. We live such busy lives, uh, not because of work or responsibilities only, but also we try to fit in so many of those um, fun things into our lives at the same time. But how does vitamin B help us do all of that? How does it help support our nerve health? Well, you know, we have to think of our nerve, our nervous system as our command center of our body. And in many profound ways, vitamin B12, for example, is involved in the myelin sheath, which is that covering that protects our nerve cells. The other B vitamins, like B1 and B6, for example, would actually be involved in the formation of the neurotransmitters. And those are the little chemical substances that help the nerve impulses move through the body. Mm. So from the sort of central nervous system right through the peripheral nervous system. The other thing that we need to, to remember is that, and as a dietitian, I often like to think of our gut as our second brain. And that within our gut, we've got millions of these neurons as well. well. The last two weeks you've shown us really in the most beautiful way how movement and breathing and especially yoga can help uh, calm our nervous system. How exactly though does it do that? Well, what we're really trying to achieve is a much better balance between our parasympathetic nervous systems. And that's where yoga really plays a, an important role. That we also want to calm our digestive system and actually allow the food that we eat to be better absorbed. Mm. And yoga actually allows us to get into that state. Speaking of the food, I know that uh, our conversation outside of this space, you mentioned some food examples that are really the magic of working on our uh, nervous system. Right. What so, are some of those? So what you're looking for are foods that are specifically rich in your vitamin Bs. I mean, but when you think of those, you may be thinking of foods like fish, and the wonderful thing about that is that you're not actually only getting vitamin B from fish, you're also getting amino acids mm. and you're getting omega-3s if it's fatty fish. And all of those nutrients also play a very important part in our nervous system function. It's all about the magic of two things that are within reach for us. The one is the magic of food. Thank you so much for that. And I think the next one is definitely the magic of yoga and movement. Fran, I am joining <laughs> you again today. Thank you, Shelley. But Fran, what are some of those yoga moves that we can really do that help manage and look after our nerve system and our nerve functions. Okay, so to be so, I'm going to compliment what Shelley said mm. about managing and looking after our nervous system because it's so important that we bring our nervous system into balance. Mm. So we're going to begin with a posture called cat cow. So with your wrists underneath your shoulders, mm -hmm. your knees underneath your hips, and your knees slightly open, your feet flat on the floor if possible. Mm -hmm. We're going to inhale and open your heart, stick your buttocks up to the ceiling. So when it comes to balancing the nervous system in yoga, it's all about action and relaxation. So now we've done a few movements of moving our spine. Mm -hmm. We're gonna come to lie on our back and we're gonna shake. Okay. Because when you're nervous and you need to activate your nerves, you've gotta shake everything. So yeah. I want you to access every part of your body that you can shake, even your tongue, <laughs> your eyeballs. <laughs> Any part that you've never moved before, yeah. get it going. Get Could it you moving. do this at the office if you suddenly felt you a rush of nervous? At the office. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies wearing a skirt, do it in the bathroom. Okay, so once we've shaked, and you want to do this for three minutes to get the maximum benefit. Mm. Now we're going to do a posture called sauna yoga, or yoga sauna. You want to bring your legs to 60 degrees and your arms to 60 degrees. And what Shelley was talking about was the navel center the primary brain in your gut. You want to try and get that to shake. So put your head and shoulders back on the floor. Mm -hmm. Long deep breaths and you will start to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yoga is about bringing up uncomfortable stuff mm. and then releasing it. That's where we do the work. Mm. Long deep breaths. And then slowly release your legs back down to the mat and to come up to sit up. Open your feet slightly and reach your hands towards your feet. So all you need to worry about is opening your heart. So imagine your heart is in front of your mind. Relax your neck, chin into chest, relax your shoulders, and just focus on slightly bringing your heart forward. It doesn't matter how far you go. 
you will definitely feel your heart start beating a little bit faster if That's you're not the used to it. cardiovascular mm. system that you're switching You on. are definitely releasing. Yeah, yoga works all the systems of the body. Take one more breath here. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to cross our legs, or whichever is the easiest way to come to lie on your tummy. Okay. And we're going to come into what we call cobra. So if anyone has back pain, you want to bring your forearms onto the ground. And once again, just get that sensation of opening up the heart. So now we're relaxing the nervous system. These are restorative postures. Drop your shoulders, open your heart. Long deep breaths. You keep mentioning long deep breaths. I'm guessing that those are so important for the releasing and, and the adjusting into the, uh, the Absolutely. form. Absolutely. If you slow down your breathing, then you get so much more benefit from the nervous system because you're bringing the nervous system into a state of calm, soothing, a relaxed state. Mm -hmm. If you've got fast, rapid breathing, you can tend to be in a more anxious state of oh. mind. So yoga is very much about slowing down the breath. So we become like elephants. Elephants yeah. breathe one breath per minute. Oh, That's the intention. I love it. Okay, love and it. let's finish off by just doing a child's pose. Mm -hmm. Open your knees, bring your big toes to touch at the back. So you've got space to move your torso in front of you. Mm -hmm. Rest your forehead on the mat if possible. And once again, just bring your breath into your back body. And just feel the sensations oh. as you release. I love it. Friend, we're going to spend uh, the rest of the morning with you showing me some of these moves. But uh, that brings us <laughs> to the end of our Be Active yoga session. Uh, next week in our final Vitamin B Focus segment, we're going to be chatting about how our minds can affect our health. You don't want to miss this conversation that's coming up. Friend, thank you so, so much. Put it here. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Thanks.